Hello, beautiful people. Hello, beautiful black people. <clears throat> I hope that this day was a good day for you and all you and all of your wonderful loved ones. <clears throat> beautiful black people. The difference between the two approaches to news reporting are very telling, especially considering all of the misinformation circulating on social media regarding Jacob Blake's criminal record. They always try to blame black victims for their own death, for their own attempted murders. Yet, they always refrain from stating, researching the criminal records of white criminals. For example, this Kyle Rittenhouse, the 17-year-old that murdered two people. The racist mass media have, have said nothing about his records, about he being a high school dropout, about he being a racist, about he being a Trump supporter. The white cops congratulated him for shooting people, for killing people, hydrated him, fed him, etc., etc. And he walked right past white racist cops after murdering two people. Isn't it amazing how whiteness, how whiteness always have a built-in, a built-in presumption of innocence. A built-in presumption of innocence. A built-in myriad of opportunities, etc., etc. These white folks did not build this country. What they built was a country. What they have is a country for them. And only them. Allowing a failed con man. Allowing a failed con man. Slash Trump. Elected by a minority of white folks. And did you know that? Do you know that Trump was elected by a minority of deluded, hateful, racist to become the president has produced fascism, power, military death squads with child soldiers. That's what the election of Trump has produced. The Republican Party is a minority party. It is a minority supported party. Hence is why the Republican Party always trying to suppress the vote. Always trying to find ways to keep black folks and brown folks from voting. Because more people vote, Republicans lose. The math works against them, and they know that. The stupid races, the stupid races, fucks. The stupid races, white fucks. The stupid races, white fucks of America have made us more like the 
failed states of a country like Russia, a country like Russia, a country like Turkey, a country like Iraq, a country like Afghanistan, the stupid white racist fucks of America have made us more like those failed states instead of America being a stable, flourishing republic. That's what the election of Trump have done. Trump needs to be taken to the traitors' gallows. Those white racist Republicans in the Republican Party, like starting with Mitch McConnell, needs to be taken to the traitors' gallows because they all traitors. They're not patriots. They are traitors. The Republicans are traitors. Trump is a traitor. They all belong at the traitors' gallows. It's no surprise that Fox News hosts and Trump as kicker. Kisser. It is no surprise that Fox News hosts Fox News hosts and Trump as Kisser. Scumbag Tucker Carlson wasted no time jumping to defend Kyle. Rittenhouse how shocked how shocked are we this is what Tucker Carlson said how shocked how shocked are we that a 17 year old racist white boy Trump supporter with a AK-47 decided that he had to maintain order when no one else would. That is what a racist scumbag like Tucker Carlson said while he hosted Fox News. That's what this idiot said. They are saying that Kenosha, Wisconsin, devolved into anarchy. They're saying that Kenosha, Wisconsin, devolved into anarchy because the of Authorities abandon the people. This is what that scumbag Tucker Carlson said. Those in charge, from the governor on down, from the governor of Wisconsin on down, refused to enforce the law. They stood back and watched. Kenosha, Wisconsin, burn. Are we really surprised that looting and arson accelerated to murder? Can you imagine any decent human being saying that he is humanizing the white boy that murdered two people and he is dehumanizing 
the alleged protesters that was looting and burning when in reality the people that are looting and burning are white folks, racist white folks that have traveled to Kenosha, Wisconsin to do just that, to burn and loot and then have the peaceful black protesters blamed for it. And what Tucker Carson said is to be expected from a white supremacist. He's a white supremacy believing scumbag. Tucker Carlson is a white supremacy believing scumbag. Trump is a white supremacy believing scumbag. Trump is supported by these white races. American fucks F-U-C-K-S that hate me that hate you to the core of their being. They are all suffering from a mental illness, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. Kyle Rittenhauser was carrying an illegal AK-47. He killed two people, injured another. The racist white cops congratulated him, hydrated him, fed him, did not arrest him. He was not arrested until the next day he had traveled back to his home in, a, in Illinois and he was arrested the next day. Jacob Blake supposedly had a knife in his car when he was shot by a racist white cop seven times in the back. Seven times in the back. And the DOJ, Bill Barr, that fuck as Trump, they've said nothing. They have done nothing. As the racist white control mass media downplay what Kyle Rittenhouse did and upplay participate in victim blaming regarding the attempted murder of Jacob Blake. There are two Americas there are two Americas, my beautiful, intelligent, black brother and sisters. And that America that is reserved for black folks, people that look like me, are not doing very well. Stay safe. Stay healthy, my beautiful, intelligent, black brothers and sisters.